everyone, this is HTS Gesky here, and I want to make this video to show off my very, very first placement match in Heart of the Swarm. One of my biggest regrets about every single game I play is that uh, I wish I would record my first game played just so we can kind of laugh at how bad I was way back in the day. But uh, anyways, this is going to be my very first placement match. As you saw on the loading screen, I was actually going up against a uh, silver level player. You can tell by the, the color of their portrait border. So unfortunately, this guy is a little bit out of his league. I do apologize. This will most likely be a one-sided curb stomp. But it is my very first placement match, so it tends to, on your very first placement match, put you up against someone who is lower ranked um, overall. Whether it's going to be bronze, silver, or gold, that, that tends to be the players you're going to be going up against. So, anyways, I, I mostly want to talk about a couple of updates, bring you guys up to speed on everything that's going on. It's less about the game and more about the conversation we are about to have. Just imagine that the, the game is more background noise for our entertainment. So. Number one, this is my first HOTS game. That was the thing on my list. Number two, I'm officially back from MLG. I'm officially back from the Heart of the Swarm launch event. That means I have about two weeks where I'm going to be playing and casting Heart of the Swarm before I actually head to Europe for JimuCon, GimuCon, G-E-M-U-Con, however you say that. I will be at that event, so if you're around that area, definitely check it out. It should be a lot of fun. Don't know too much about it, but I'm going to be on a couple of panels and stuff. Um, so I'm going to be in Europe for that. Then I'm going to be flying to New York for the Shorty Awards, which uh, should be a lot of fun. Super excited about that. And yeah, so after that, then it'll be more and more StarCraft. So just want to let you guys know some traveling coming up, but going to be playing a lot, lot more. So that was number two on my list. Number three, I want to start doing something, guys. So every ladder game I upload, I'm thinking of calling it like Play With Me or something, which just sounds kind of dirty. But basically any game that is first person view, whether I'm casting it live while playing it or casting it after the fact like this video. Sometimes, you know, depending on how I feel, I'll do one or the other, casting it live or casting it after the fact. I want you guys to play a game and tell me how your game went. Now it has to be, uh, it has to be for ladder points. So basically it's going to help you get over your ladder anxiety because we're going to play StarCraft together. We are going to get over the ladder anxiety. And if you have ladder anxiety, go play more unranked ladder to slowly get over that. So I'm playing my placement match right now. And uh, I want you guys to go play your first game of the day or if you've already played one, and post down below how your game went. What did you lose to? Did you win? Uh, what can you improve on? Whatever. And anytime I play a game, I'm going to call it something. I need a series. Maybe I'll just call it Ladder Anxiety again, because that's always a good one. I think I will call it Ladder Anxiety. So every Ladder Anxiety game I play, your homework is to play one game and uh, tell me how it went. If you don't own the game, that's okay. We still love you. You're still welcome here. Um, I know a lot of you actually don't play. You just enjoy watching the game. So anyways... I want to bring back the Ladder Anxiety series. People seem to really, really like that. And, yeah, so let me know down below. How did your one game go for the day? All right, so that is that. That was number three on my list. Number four, if you would like to find players to practice against or talk to or make fun of or whatever, join my Husky StarCraft group on Battle.net. Now, I believe you can join it with Wings of Liberty or Hard the Swarm. When you log in, and just go to the group section. It's kind of on the right side. Search for Husky StarCraft and join the official Husky StarCraft group. Now, there's over 30,000, let me say that again, over 30,000 members in that group. I believe it's currently the largest group on StarCraft 2. Uh, but either way, it is amazing. Been talking to a lot of you guys there. Tons and tons of fun. Um, lots of games being had and cool people are there. So if you want to join that, feel free, guys. It's a great place for you guys to talk and uh, get to know each other a little bit better and just share the love for StarCraft 2. So the Husky StarCraft group, go join it. Um, number five, I think, on my list. I think, I think we're up to number five, maybe number four. Either way, make sure, guys, to send me replays to huskyreplays at gmail.com. If you're watching a live stream of one of your favorite pros, talk to them. Get them to send me replays. Don't be annoying. Don't be those guys. Do not be annoying, but just let them know that I would love to cast their good games. There's so many epic games taking place that it's a shame that I can't cast every single one. But to definitely have them send replays to huskyreplays at gmail.com, which brings me to point number six. Are you guys keeping track at, at this point? I know this is a lot of information being dropped on you all at once. Did you guys like my bronze love my blonde? <laughs> Bronze League Heroes game that I did where uh, basically we watch a silly bronze level game. We all have a couple of laughs, uh, maybe get a couple of drinks, who knows, and just enjoy 
uh, the, the silliness of games that are not played by pros. So if you enjoyed that, let me guys uh, let me know. You can also send those bronze or any any level replay, really. It doesn't have to be bronze. It can be gold, silver, platinum, diamond, whatever. It, it could be just a silly game that we can all laugh at. You can also send those to huskyreplays at gmail.com. Because honestly, I feel like StarCraft 2, while 1v1 pro games are a, an absolute vital part of the game, of, of the community, of course I'm never going to stop 1v1 pro games at all. Um, you can see my Oracle here having, having fun in their base. So at this point, the game is basically won, unless he has like two expansions or something. I see. But uh, either way, send me those replays, guys. Let me know what level they're at, and uh, if they're silly, I will cast them. I think they were a ton of fun there. And I'm trying to think of what else. I actually managed to say everything much more concisely than I had planned to. So to recap, this is my first HOTS game. I'm going to be uploading games for the Ladder Anxiety series. Every Ladder Anxiety series game I have, your homework is to play one game. Tell me how it went. What did you, uh, what did you do right? What did you do wrong? Did you have fun? Are you frustrated? Whatever. So first HOTS game, Ladder Anxiety series. Play a game every time I do. Uh, join the Husky StarCraft group and send pro level and amateur level replays to huskyreplays at gmail.com. Let's get Har the Swarm started off right. StarCraft became much more popular with the release of the original StarCraft. And if you guys remember back down to, hang on, I'm getting a phone call. All right, and I'm back. So I think uh, what I'm going to do is put a list of everything I said down below because that was a lot of stuff for you guys to remember. I don't even remember everything that I covered anymore. So uh, anyways, at this point in the game, I think it's pretty darn obvious that uh, I'm kind of way in the lead. No matter what he could have done, I don't think he would have been able to recover from that whatsoever. So I will say, though, in talking a little bit about the game, that uh, oracles are pretty good, but don't rely on them to win you the game. If, if a Terran player is going to be more aggressive, then you still need sentries and things like that to hold your own ramp. And uh, I definitely made a lot of mistakes this game, but it was my very first game. So in the future, what I want to do is uh, is basically walk you through the game. If I'm playing it live, I'll tell you what I'm trying to do. If I'm casting afterwards, I'll tell you what I was trying to do. Um, and there's a Mothership Core right there, just in case I needed to Photon Overcharge. But at this point, it is pretty one-sided, so I'm just going to go ahead and march in there. But anyways, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. Uh, doing, doing doing the old ladder thing. It's always, you know, got ladder anxiety and all that. So uh, there's the GG from my opponent. And then you get the awesome victory screen, which is so gratifying. Oh, uh, that feels so good every time you win a game. But uh, that was my first placement match. So you guys go play your very first game. Come back here let me know how you did. And if you lost, if you won, it don't matter because you always get XP anyways. And uh, you can see right there, well, you can see basically from the beginning is when I, I had the worker advantage. And that's the army supply value. And this one was the, is that the income? I actually can't tell because it's too small on my screen. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed. I will be doing more ladder anxiety relatively soon. And of course, I'll see you guys next time.